This week, we continue our series on version 4 for Windows and the new features contained within it. Hi, I'm James Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this week's video tip, we are going to take a look at some of the new editing features found in version 4. Since this is only an overview, my goal is only to give you a peek at some of the new editing features and functionalities. The first item I want to illustrate is the ability in version 4 to select either channel independently or to select both together. As you can see from this on-screen demonstration, it is simply a matter of where within the WAV file you put your mouse. If you put your mouse at the top of the left channel and drag, you'll see that you select only the left channel. If you put it toward the center and drag, you'll see that you select both channels. And if you put it toward the bottom, you'll see that you select the right channel. It's quite simple to be able to select one channel or the other or both of them. A second new feature that I want to show you is the mix down feature. In this situation, if you have a stereo track open, as we do on the screen, and you want to combine the two channels to create one, the mix down feature will do that. Let's take a look at how that works. You can either select part of the channel and then go to edit, mix down, and it will mix down and place on your screen a mono channel for just that area that has been selected. Or, if you don't select any of the song or any of the file that you have open, it will mix the whole thing down. A third new feature is the ability to create a stereo track from a mono track. Once you have mixed down, as we have in this particular example, to a mono track, you can then insert a blank or an empty channel into this file. And then if you have another track of data that you'd like to paste into the empty channel, you can do that. So let's take a look at how that works as well. We go up to the edit button again, we select convert mono to stereo, and look at the sub options we have. We have one that says put mono audio in the left channel, put it in the right channel, or put it in the both channels. We can essentially ask Song Surgeon to take this data and put it in the left channel, or put it in the right channel, or we can actually have it put in both channels. But for the example that I was just describing where you have an additional track of data that you like to copy and paste into this one, you would select either left channel or right channel. And if we do that, you'll see that it inserts the data into the left channel, leaving this right channel open. So you could actually copy data from another instance of Song Surgeon that you have open and paste it into this open right channel and therefore recreate, or I should say create, another stereo channel. I can think of two examples where you might want to do this. The first is in a situation where you have recorded yourself playing along with a backing track. You might then want to create a file that combines your playing along with the backing track music into a single file. A second example is where you are working with a song that consists of multiple tracks. For example, one track might be drums, another bass, another electric guitar, another keyboard, etc. In that situation, you could open a file and then copy and paste the data from a second file into the first. You could then mix that down to create a mono file, and then you could insert a stereo file, in this case another blank channel, and then you could copy and paste the next file in there. And you could continue doing this in sequence until you add all of the channels or all of the individual instrument tracks into a single file. And these two examples really just begin to scratch the surface. They were two that came to my mind immediately and there are dozens of others. I think the important takeaway about the editing features in version 4 is that you can now edit channels independently and this gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility that was not found in version 3. Stay tuned next week for another installment of our weekly video tip as we continue our overview of version 4.